India, with its vast coastline and strategic location, has always understood the importance of a strong navy. The nation's leaders envisioned a future where India could project power and safeguard its interests. An indigenous aircraft carrier became a key aspiration. INS Vikrant, meaning courageous in Sanskrit, was to be the embodiment of this ambition. This endeavor was about building a nation's confidence and stature. The decision was driven by a desire to shed colonial dependence. India had previously operated aircraft carriers acquired from other countries. The construction of INS Vikrant marked a paradigm shift. The project ignited a sense of pride and purpose across the country. The journey to create INS Vikrant was not without its hurdles. From the outset, the project faced significant technological and logistical challenges. Designing and constructing an aircraft carrier, often regarded as the most complex engineering endeavor undertaken by any nation, demanded expertise across multiple disciplines. India, despite its growing industrial base, had limited experience in warship building of this magnitude. The lack of prior experience in indigenous carrier construction presented a steep learning curve for Indian engineers and designers. The sheer scale of the project was daunting. It required the coordination of numerous government agencies, private sector companies, and research institutions, each with its own set of priorities and working styles. Procuring specialized steel, developing advanced propulsion systems, and integrating complex weapons and sensor suites posed significant technological barriers. Moreover, the project faced budgetary constraints and skepticism from some quarters about its feasibility. However, the Indian government and the Indian Navy remained steadfast in their commitment, viewing these challenges not as roadblocks, but as opportunities for growth and innovation. The design and construction of INS Vikrant was a testament to the ingenuity and perseverance of Indian engineers and naval architects. The Cochin Shipyard Limited in Kochi, India, was entrusted with the responsibility of turning blueprints into reality. The shipyard, with its rich history of shipbuilding, underwent a significant modernization program to accommodate the construction of the massive carrier. New dry docks were excavated and state-of-the-art facilities were established to handle the intricate tasks involved in building such a complex vessel. The design of INS Vikrant incorporated several innovative features tailored to meet the specific operational requirements of the Indian Navy. The ship's short takeoff but arrested recovery configuration, featuring a ski jump ramp and arrestor wires, was a departure from the traditional catapult-assisted launch systems used by some other navies. This design choice allowed INS Vikrant to operate a diverse range of aircraft, including MiG-29K fighter jets and helicopters, providing the Indian Navy with enhanced flexibility and operational capabilities. The carrier's hull form and propulsion systems were optimized for operations in the warm waters of the Indian Ocean, ensuring optimal performance in the region's challenging maritime environment. INS Vikrant served as a floating laboratory for India's burgeoning defense industrial base. The project provided a significant impetus for the development of indigenous technologies in areas such as shipbuilding, metallurgy, weapon systems and electronics. The carrier's advanced sensors and communication systems, many of which were designed and developed in India, showcased the country's growing capabilities in the field of naval electronics. The integration of these cutting-edge systems into a single cohesive platform was a complex undertaking, requiring close collaboration between various stakeholders. One of the key technological achievements of the INS Vikrant project was the development of an indigenous combat management system. The CMS, often referred to as the brain of a warship, is responsible for integrating data from various sensors, processing information, and providing a comprehensive tactical picture to the ship's command team. The indigenous CMS on INS Vikrant demonstrated India's ability to develop and integrate complex software and hardware systems for critical naval applications. Section 5. Global Synergy – International Collaboration for Excellence While INS Vikrant was a testament to India's indigenous capabilities, the project also benefited from international collaboration. Recognizing the complexities involved in aircraft carrier construction, India sought expertise from global leaders in the field. Companies and institutions from countries such as Russia, the United States and Italy provided technical assistance in areas such as propulsion systems, aviation systems and design consultancy. This collaboration brought in valuable knowledge and best practices from around the world, enhancing the overall quality and efficiency of the project. 
The partnership with Russia in particular proved instrumental in the development of INS Vikrant's aviation capabilities. The MiG-29K fighter jets, a key component of the carrier's air wing, were acquired from Russia, along with associated training and support packages. Russian engineers and technicians worked closely with their Indian counterparts to integrate the aircraft onto the carrier and ensure seamless operations. This collaboration extended beyond the delivery of hardware, encompassing knowledge transfer and the development of joint maintenance and support infrastructure. Section 6. Sweat and Skill The unsung heroes of Cochin Shipyard the launch of INS Vikrant was a testament to the dedication, skill and hard work of thousands who labored tirelessly for over a decade. Welders, electricians, pipe fitters and other skilled tradespeople poured their hearts into the project. Their commitment ensured every weld, wire and component met the highest standards. The Cochin shipyard transformed into a hive of activity dedicated to this national icon. The air was thick with the sounds of clanging metal and whirring machinery. Skilled workers from across India converged on Kochi, bringing unique skills and perspectives. This diverse workforce forged a strong bond of camaraderie and shared accomplishment. Section 7. A Nation's Pride Set Sail, the launch of INS Vikrant. On a day etched in India's maritime history, INS Vikrant was launched amidst much fanfare and national celebration. The sight of the massive carrier, adorned with colorful flags and streamers, gracefully entering the water for the first time was a moment of immense pride and joy for all Indians. It marked the culmination of years of hard work, innovation and unwavering determination. The event was witnessed by dignitaries, foreign delegates and millions of Indians who watched the live broadcast with bated breath and hearts filled with pride. The launch of INS Vikrant was not merely a ceremonial event, it represented a significant milestone in India's journey towards becoming a true blue water navy. The carrier, with its ability to project power far beyond India's shores, significantly enhanced the Indian Navy's capabilities in areas such as maritime security, disaster relief and humanitarian assistance. It also sent a strong message to the world about India's growing technological prowess and its resolve to safeguard its interests in the strategically important Indian Ocean region. Section 8. Transforming Naval Power, Strategic Impact and Global Stature The commissioning of INS Vikrant significantly bolstered India's naval capabilities, elevating its status as a major maritime power. The carrier's ability to operate a diverse air wing, consisting of fighter jets, helicopters and airborne early warning and control aircraft, provided the Indian Navy with unprecedented reach and flexibility in maritime operations. This enhanced capability allowed India to project power far beyond its shores, safeguarding its maritime trade routes, protecting its exclusive economic zone and contributing to regional stability. The carrier's long-range strike capability, enabled by its complement of MiG-29K fighter jets, significantly enhanced India's ability to deter potential adversaries and respond swiftly and decisively to maritime threats. The presence of helicopters on board provided the Indian Navy with robust anti-submarine warfare capabilities, crucial for protecting India's vast coastline and safeguarding its sea lines of communication. INS Vikrant's ability to operate AEW and sea aircraft further strengthened India's maritime domain awareness, providing a comprehensive and real-time understanding of the maritime environment. Section 9. Enduring Legacy, Inspiring Future Generations of Engineers Beyond its military significance, INS Vikrant represents a shining example of India's engineering prowess and its ability to undertake complex, technologically challenging projects. The project has not only resulted in the creation of a world-class aircraft carrier, but has also spurred innovation and technological advancements across multiple sectors in India. The knowledge, skills and experience gained during the design and construction of INS Vikrant have created a lasting legacy for India's shipbuilding industry paving the way for future ambitious projects. Moreover, INS Vikrant serves as a powerful symbol of national pride and inspiration for future generations of Indians. The story of its creation, from the drawing board to the high seas, is a testament to what can be achieved through hard work, dedication, and a spirit of collective endeavor. The project has ignited the imagination of countless young minds, encouraging them to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics fields. INS Vikrant stands as a floating testament to India's technological progress.
a beacon of inspiration for aspiring engineers and a powerful symbol of the nation's maritime ambitions.